Hello everyone, let's look at this integral here. We have tangent inverse of x, which is the octangent function. We are integrating it. We are trying to find an antiderivative using integration by parts. And so we are going to set up our UV table here. Uh, this one is actually really similar to finding the antiderivative sine inverse function. Uh, the difference is that we have a, a really small variation at the end when we are using the u substitution, but that's, that's uh, it's really just the same process here. Uh, details, of course, are different because we have a different function here. So let's get started on this problem. So we are going to set up our UE table here, which is U is equal to something. And then, yeah, so we have all that stuff, right? Just like U show time, we are going to set up the table like this. Okay, so I think I need to leave, give more space to those things, right? So just because we have fractions. I think this looks better. We'll see. I'm still practicing on this. So we are going to let u be tangent inverse of x. And then we are going to let dv be 1 and then dx. And so integrating the v, which is easy. So we are just going to get the x here. Um, differentiating the u, we are going to get 1 over 1 plus x squared and then times dx. And so it's important that in order for you to be able to uh, do this problem, you need to remember the derivative for the tangent inverse of x. Otherwise, you would need to derive it first. And so we have 1 over 1 plus x squared here for, as the derivative of the octangent function. Okay, so now we can start writing down our, our, our steps right here. So remember following the integration formulas, we are going to have u times v, right? So uv, so uv is x times tangent inverse of x. So we have x tangent inverse of x. And then minus, now I'm going to use red to highlight my negative integral of v to u, right? So we are going to get minus the integral. What about the v? The v is the x, and then the du is one over one plus x squared dx, right? So you're going to multiply the x by the one over one plus x squared, which is x over one plus x squared, and then the dx. Okay, so as you can see here, we are going to, we need to actually do a u substitution on this to just integrate this function here, or if, or you can manipulate it so that you don't need to do the u substitution, but I'm just showing all the details in here. So we're going to let u. Actually, I need to change it to a to a different letter. So I'm going to call this a w, right? So we're going to let w be the denominator of this function, which is 1 plus x squared. So we are going to get 1 plus x squared right here, 1 plus x squared. So dw is equal to 2x dx. Yeah, so that's the derivative of 1 plus x squared. And then we are going to solve for dx here, or actually we can just try to manipulate um, whatever expression that you have on this side to match with whatever that you have in the numerator, which is just x and dx. So I don't need the 2. I just need the x and the dx on this side. So that means I can get the 2 on the other side of the equation. I divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to get 1 half dw is equal to x dx. Okay, so we're ready to go with our u substitution. So let's continue with our problem here. So we are going to get x tangent inverse of x and then minus the integral. Um, yeah, so I need to put the one half here, right? Because I'm replacing the x and the dx by one half dw. So I'm going to put the one half in the front because that's a constant. So I don't need that to be inside the integral. So we have x dx turn into 1 half dw. So I have the dw here as the, you can put it in the numerator. So we have dw here. What about the bottom? The bottom would actually just be replaced by w because the bottom is 1 plus x squared. So it's just equal to w. So we have w here. So we have w here. Okay, so integrating this integral here is easy because it's, it's basically just 1 over w. And the antiderivative 1 over w, right? So you can just make a note here in case you don't remember. Um, is actually, so if you have a function that's, that's this, then that's actually just what? That's actually just ln of x. Yeah, so let's... 
let's just put a let's just put a constant k right there okay so we can actually just put down a result here so we have x and then times tangent inverse of x and then minus one half times what ln natural log of w absolute value the w and we actually need to replace the the w by one plus x squared right so i'm going to substitute the one plus x squared back in here which will give me x and then tangent inverse of x minus one half natural log of one plus x squared and then plus c now i just want to just point out one thing here is that one plus x squared it's a positive number so we do not need the absolute value anymore so we can change it to just parentheses okay so that's the answer that's the antiderivative for the tangent inverse function and so i will do it i will do the same integral one more time by using the tablet method uh it's just the exact same process right it's, as you can see there are a lot of similarities when you compare this one to um the integral of the sine inverse function. Okay, so that's it. So we're done. So thank you for watching. See you next time.